Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, The Rick Files. In today's video, I'm going to showcase the art that I have been collecting for quite some time now. Um, starting with the painting behind me, it's a mixed media. This is one of the very first um, art piece or um, painting that I have bought. I bought it in 2005 in um, Canada. Uh, to be specific, it's one of those galleries in um, Niagara on the Lake, um, very close to Niagara Falls, and um, it's a mixed media. This is a huge painting. All right, guys, so I pressed this huge painting, this mixed media painting by Chantal Poulain, pressed against this cotton fruit tree. So I'm outdoors right now, guys, and have you ever wondered why, you know, works of art, whether it's a painting or a photograph or even a sculpture, it's really an immortalization of that moment in time or the imagination of the artist. And this painting is no different. The artist Chantal Poulain, when she did this painting, she had the beach in mind and she captured it vividly in this mixed media painting. So I'm gonna go a little bit further so you could see it's really a beach scene right at the bottom of the painting. You could see the shoreline and then as you go further up, that is the sea. Right in the middle there is, I don't know if you could see it guys, it's a fisherman in a small boat. This guy here, show you that one over there guys. And you would notice that this painting has a lot of elements of nature, like this shaving of the barks, bark of the tree. This one, there's a lot of twigs. You could see there are more here, some twigs in here, and dead leaves. And that's the whole point of the artist when she did this painting or this series of painting she wanted to give these dead elements of nature a second lease in life or a second chance and in the process she was able to immortalize them and i think that is what art is all about and not what nature is all about it's just a cycle of life you know they may be gone but it will come back in another shape or form and in an art form like this it gets immortalized when an artist captured a moment in time that will last forever i really love this painting guys it's been with me for 16 years now i bought it in 2005 um, in niagara on the lake a gallery in niagara on the lake in very close to Niagara Falls in Canada and because it's been a 16 year old painting you can see that he has developed this nice pink patina cascading down from the very top down into here it's almost like leading with this pink hues and as I've mentioned being a mixed media painting the artist used a lot of medium in here like acrylic oil and she finished it off by using 50 coats of varnish to be able to seal these elements of nature that has long been forgotten step on a new lease in life so there you have it guys this painting is quite huge it's 60 by 72 and um, art is such a universal language and it's such you know it's, it's got this healing power when you look at it and not only that you get to appreciate it but also appreciate the very live nature where art was taken from like this one here that i'm talking about guys you can see i'm right here outdoors there is this um sugar apple tree in here beside the cotton fruit tree there you go and there's another big tree there it's on the fruit bearing tree but 
it's just so nice and so peaceful to commune with nature and I think that's what we needed especially during these very difficult times that you know COVID-19 is still rampantly ravaging mankind and to be able to appreciate nature and works of art is such great respite or not really trying to escape away from reality but being able to keep your sanity more than anything and appreciate the beauty of art and the beauty of nature that surrounds us because sometimes when times are tough we get so jaded and we get so down on ourselves but if you just look around there's still so much to be grateful for so much to appreciate and one of them is when you have a work of art like this and when you surround yourself with nature then things could be a lot easier I hope you like that little uh, interpretation or my thoughts about how you can keep your sanity and stay positive in a good way despite what we're going through right now there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed this uh, short video of my experiment um, on art x nature and if you happen to enjoy the video please give me some love please don't forget to subscribe give me some thumbs up and share in the meantime guys please take care of yourself and each other bye for now